Man, that pizza we had was so good. I told you that place was going to be amazing. And I also told you that they have the best meat lovers pizza in the entire city. And for some reason, you doubted me. <laughs> hey, you're... You're awfully quiet today. Is everything all right? Hmm? Sorry, can you... Can you speak up a little? I can't make out what you're saying when you talk so quietly like that. A question? Yeah, sure. What do you want to ask? M what? Where did you... <laughs> Right, I, I was the one who told you. Yeah, I... I know a decent amount about... about kink. Why do you ask? Just curious? Alright, alright. I used to be quite into it for a while, and... Eh, I guess I kind of still am. Why didn't I tell you anything? Well, for starters, you didn't ask. I also didn't think you were interested in it. <laughs> you knew I knew and never said anything about it. Imagine my surprise when you suddenly asked me to teach you. Well, what do you want to know? And before that, how much do you know already? Nothing? Nothing at all? Really? <laughs> this has been on your mind a while now, hasn't it? Aren't you a naughty one? <laughs> I'm only teasing, I'm only teasing. So, what... Do you want to know? Everything. Okay, well, that's broad. Let me think. I'll start from the basics, I guess. Do you know what BDSM stands for? No? Alright, I'll explain it to you. Don't worry. First, the B and D stands for bondage and discipline. Bondage means to restrain, usually in a physical sense. You know, uh, ropes, chains, stuff like that. Mm hmm. And I'm sure you know what discipline means. In this case, it's, uh, it's what keeps the structure of BDSM as a whole. Think of it as, like, an essential rule set for the scene to play out. Next is where the confusion might come in, but let me break it down for you, one by one. First, D and S stands for dominance and submission, while the ones they refer to are known as dominance and submissives, or doms and subs for short dominance means being in charge or being assertive i'm a dominant for example i prefer to be in control of the situation and uh, give orders submission on the other hand means to give up control and i know what you might be thinking um, does that mean the submissive has no say in the situation? Um, and that's, that's really not the case. Um, in fact, they decide what can and cannot happen. A dominance job might be to take charge and be in control of the scene, but it's the submissives who always have the final word. That's part of the proper etiquette in BDSM. So far, so good? Great. 
You're such a great listener. Next, we have S and M. And these stand for sadism and masochism. Now, uh, a sadist is someone who enjoys inflicting pain, while a masochist is someone who enjoys receiving it. And the type of pain and how much depends on the person. Some people enjoy just some light hits, and some other people enjoy things that are more drastic than that. What's more drastic? <laughs> Let's, we, we can save that for another time, all right? Good. Other ways of sadism and masochism play can be through inflicting pain psychologically, um, like humiliation, um, degradation, uh, stuff like that. Why is it called BDSM when there's six letters? Well, <laughs> I guess I just shorten it because it's easier like that. I don't know. <laughs> Are you still following so far? Wonderful. Any questions for me? How do you know when to stop? That's a fantastic question. Um, before the scene starts, um, both people will agree on a word um, or phrase that means stop the play. And when someone says that, everything stops. No questions, no ands, ifs, or buts. Once either party, either the submissive or the dominant, say it, that's the end of everything. Um, most people use the traffic light system. You know, uh, red for stop, yellow for slow down or I need a break, and green for keep going or more. Sometimes if, if a gag is being used, or they can't speak for any reason, then there will be a signal instead. For example, three quick grunts uh, for stop. Yeah, yeah, honestly, all sorts of people do BDSM. Even in the professional scene, you can see business people powerful people out in the real world looking for a place to let someone else take control for a few hours. There's also plenty of dominance who apply to work at such places. Yeah, yeah, some people, some people work in this industry. It is an industry. Any more questions? <laughs> You're so smart. Asking all the important things. Good, good. Etiquette and rules are very important in BDSM to make sure everyone involved is very safe and feels safe. Um, aside from the ones I've already mentioned, we need to keep our practices safe, sane, and consensual. And different people have different preferences. You know, it's not the same for every person, and it can even change for the same people from day to day. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to know? Mm-hmm. And I should mention, you should only do it with someone you really trust, okay? I'm serious. If you're ever thinking of doing things like this, only do it with someone you can absolutely trust, 100%, without any doubts. Do you understand? Good. That pretty much sums up the overall meaning of BDSM. <laughs> it's kind of a lot to take in, so take your time.
You want to know the difference between a scene and a play? I guess in most cases, many people use the two to refer to the same thing. Think of it like a setting or situation to get both sides into the mood. For example, some people like to do a bit of roleplay. They could imagine themselves as a helpless captive brought to a dungeon for the keeper's carnal desires. Or an employee who is made to serve and carry out all of their boss's bidding. Or maybe a young, innocent individual being taken care of by their older, more mature partner. Most fantasies, as long as they're safe, sane, and consensual, are possible in the realm of kink. You can really do anything. What kind of kinks are there? <laughs> There's a lot, and I mean a lot of different ones. To go through all right now would, would be impossible. The popular ones, uh, I, I guess I can give you a few. For starters, one of the most popular would probably be bondage. Mm-hmm. The one with the restraints. The reason for that is because it can come in many different forms, such as tying somebody up, using handcuffs, blindfolds, stuff like that. And another popular one, and one of my favorites, is impact play. It's part of the sadism, masochism category, but more towards the side of hitting or spanking someone. I could use my hand, or a toy, or anything with a good surface, really. And then there's also pet play. No, no, it, it doesn't have anything to do with actual pets. The submissive is just made to behave like a pet. Either a cat, or a dog, or anything, really. They can be ordered to do stuff like meowing or barking, walking on all fours or other pet-like behavior, while the dominant acts like the owner. Mm -hmm. And there's also some other related ones like wax play, where the dom will pour wax on the sub to inflict pain, or knife play where a knife is used to inflict fear on the sub. And in these cases, you always want to make sure that you discuss the limits beforehand. So any type of pain inflicted only provides them with torturous pleasure, not, not actual agony. And basically, a, a sub could say, I don't want any blood involved. And that would mean no cuts or deep bruises. Mm-hmm. Another one that's pretty popular is age play, or age regression, which is similar. Um, and often it can take the form of one person being the protector, or taking more of a parental role for someone who is more of an innocent character. Mm -hmm. Do any of these interest you at all? Oh, you don't say. I find that one quite fun as well. Maybe you could be my willing assistant sometime. <laughs> you really want to? No, no, I don't mind at all. In fact, I was hoping you'd ask me. Who would have thought the shy, cute, innocent one would have such a lewd mind, hmm? Of course I find you cute, amongst other things. What other things? Well, you're beautiful, for one. Not just your face, but your body, your eyes, 
<laughs> it's also captivating. And more importantly, you have a beautiful mind as well. You may be timid on the outside, but when I'm talking with you, I can see your eyes light up about certain topics, and the way you ramble about your favorite thing is just the cutest. Teasing? No, no, I'm... Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> I just adore how your cheeks turn red like that. It really makes me wonder, what other parts of you I can turn red like that? <sighs> but I have to make sure that you're sure. Remember, consent and safety above all, okay? Mm-hmm. You can take a bit to think about it. So you've really made up your mind? You, you're you sure you want to go through with it? Okay. Perfect. You're in safe hands. I promise. And before anything else happens, I want you to give me your safe word. When you say it, everything stops. I won't ask any questions or continue. Got it? Okay, good. Now, be a darling and lie down across my lap. We're going to start with a bit of light impact play. Remember, if it gets too much for you, just say the word and I'll stop. Mm-hmm. Do you remember your safe word? Say it for me, sweetheart. Good pet. <laughs> you are irresistible when you're obedient. Ready? I want you to count each one with me, okay? And tell me if I should be more gentle or go harder. One. We'll start off light. Two. And slowly go harder. Three. Still okay? Okay, good. And the last one. Mm. Shh, 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 shh. You've done so well, my sweet pet. Hey, hey. Look at me. Look into my eyes. You've been such a good pet. Did it hurt too much? No? Good. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I knew you would. Honestly. Watching you bounce with each spank. Seeing your skin gradually turn red from my hand. It's so unbearably hot. You're so unbearably hot. I... I want to see more of you. To feel more of you. I know this is all new, but do you want to go further? You do? <laughs> Truth be told, I... I've always kind of seen you more than just a normal friend. All the banters we have, the teasing, the flirting. You too, huh? <laughs> I guess it was kind of obvious. Then let's continue. I want you. And I need you. Be a dear and take off your clothes for me, won't you? That's right. Everything. If you want to listen to the full spicy version, you can find that on my Patreon. There are four versions for this one, actually. Um, guys, gals, trans guys, trans gals. So if any of that interests you, go check it out in the description. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.